So Leica has recently launched a brand new Q3 and this is the new Q3 43. It might look the same, but it's actually not. So in this video, let me share with you my thoughts about it after using it for one week. Let's go. What's up guys, Jason Smashpop here. So this is the brand new Leica Q3 43. Now how do you differentiate the 43 and also the previous one which was 28mm? Well, as you can see, the lens is new and it's using a 43mm Apo Sumicron lens. Now we'll talk about it in a bit, okay? Other than that, you will also get to see that the leatherette on the front here is no longer black. It's now grey. In some lighting, it is actually quite light but in real life, it is not too light and it's uh, it's almost closer to the darker side of grey. So when it comes to the things that are the same as the previous camera, everything, okay, including the tail screen, including the buttons on the top and also buttons on the back. Inside, they are also using the same 60 megapixel sensor, but let's talk about what is Apple Sumicron. For the very first time since the beginning of the Q series, okay, this is the very first time Leica updates the lens to an Apo Sumicron lens. Previously, it was a Sumilux lens. So the Apo basically stands for Apo Chromatic, and that also means it's the best level and best standard for camera lenses, whereby they are able to produce this lens so that they eliminate all the light frequencies so that you don't get color fringing and every photo that you take is super sharp from the middle all the way to the edges of the photo. Now when I heard about the new 43, I actually talked to Leica Malaysia and said, hey, are you able to loan me this unit because I'm very interested in this focal length because, let me show you, the two lenses that I use all the time on my Sony are the 35 and also the 55mm. Both are prime lenses, okay? And as you can see, these two lenses are quite beaten down, like someone picked it up from the trash or something like that. Because I use both of these lenses every single day. Now, when it comes to 43, it's probably the perfect focal length for me because it is right in between. It is not too wide and also not too zoom so that I can maneuver around okay if i want to do like 50 or 55 i can go closer if i want to do 35 i can reverse a little bit but what is good about the leica system if you're watching this you should know if you are new to leica let me tell you now okay is that you can actually do in sensor crop for the different kind of focal length because the lens is 43 but you can actually crop the sensor to be smaller, hence you're able to zoom a little bit more. And the different focal length that we can crop to are 60, 75, 90, 120, and also 150. Uh, also note that if you want the full resolution, okay, you can do 60 full resolution at 43mm, but as you crop in, you will get less and less megapixels. But because the sensor is so big, even if you crop all the way to 150mm, it is still very sharp. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, never mind because I have some photos that I've taken throughout the week to show you now. You see picture first, I will tell you a story after this. Now, from the photos that you saw just now, right, you should know that my favorite filters are actually the black and white monochrome and also the eternal, okay? I'm sure a lot of people also prefer these two Leica looks. As you can see, the photos are actually very sharp and uh, if you zoom in, you will notice that every single detail can be captured and is also very precise. Some of the shots are actually cropped in sensor to zoom like for example this picture of this lady in the window it was actually zoomed all the way to 120 mm but yet the photo is still very sharp now on the 43 mm lens we can actually rotate the ring to turn it to macro okay so when it comes to macro right it's not as close as you can get on say mobile phones but it starts from about 20 plus centimeters 
all the way to the camera sensor okay so that also means uh, like for this picture that i took of my apple watch i have to actually use the macro mode because if i use normal it is not able to focus at all because it has passed the 20 plus centimeter range uh, from the sensor so based on my experience i really like using the leica q343 to take photos because of the focal length i really don't like shooting at wide for example 23 25 or even 28 because for those photos i can actually use my iphone to do it because when it's wide and everything is sharp nobody will actually notice whether it's from a camera or a phone okay most of the people lah. but when it comes to 43 you will be able to compress the visuals and it's basically somewhat the view that your eyes see okay so things are not stretched and things are not too compressed it's exactly the ratio or the size that our eyes can see so it is very very natural using a 43 mm to take pictures like this Now here's a quick one thing I like and one thing I don't like about the Leica Q343, okay? The thing that I like about it is how high contrast the photos are. Uh, as you can see, the blacks are really black, which is what I love. And it's also one of the reasons why I prefer shooting using a proper camera than a mobile phone. Um, what I don't like is that it is not as fast as I expected it to be uh, because Previously, I've been using like Sony cameras or even like a point and shoot uh, Ricoh GR3X. Those cameras can actually focus really fast and even the menu moves really fast, okay, as you scroll through them. But on Leica, I feel it is somewhat like an intentional photography whereby it's not like when you saw something, you quickly snap. It's more of you know what you want to shoot and you prepare yourself, you set up the camera and you wait and you shoot the photo. So that is more of an intentional photography and it's not more of a spontaneous photography. Now price wise, I initially expected it to be around 30,000 ringgit because the 28mm version is around there. Uh, this 43mm is a little bit higher which is about 35999 or something like that. So it totals up to about 36,000 ringgit, okay? So if you have been using the Q2 or Q3, uh, I would say maybe don't need to upgrade because if you're using like a wider angle, you can still crop the focal length to 43 if you want. Um, because this one starts from 43, okay, it's not wide. So it can only start from 43 to 60 and so on. But if you're already using a wide angle, you can crop to this focal length and you don't have to upgrade. But if you are looking for like a very good Leica camera for your day-to-day -day usage and you don't own any Leica yet, this is probably my choice and also what I would suggest for you to get because it's a really, really good camera. And uh, it has a very good lens and photos are also very sharp and turns out, very very nice so that's all my one week experience with the leica q343 i have to return this to leica malaysia tomorrow uh, hopefully i will be able to play with this device again uh, if you love gadget videos like this don't forget to subscribe to this channel press the subscribe button below this video share this video with your friends and follow me on all social platforms i'll be posting more photos from the leica q3 on my instagram as well so follow me on smash pop on instagram and i'll see you in the next video Yo!